previously on Seduce Me. Are you looking for a house? Because my house is open. It's pretty big. Kind of lonely. You guys want to stay? I mean, I could use the help. I can't cook. And so it continues. Um. Uh, what is that? Exactly. He smiled as if to wave it off. But when he opened his eyes and saw what he was holding, his face froze in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? This, this is... <laughs> Yep, well, <laughs> you done, you done screwed up, man. <laughs> I know, it's cute, I swear. <laughs> what he produced from his pocket was a creepy-looking doll. It's a doll? Oh, what is that? <laughs> Even he's like, oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, that is, that is awesome. <laughs> god, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm... Why the hell are you asking me? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, sweet. Jesus. Stop. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Are we going to have to find this little... Ah, oh, no. God, no. That thing is scary as hell. His face paled considerably, and he dropped it onto the floor, scooting away from it frantically. Get it away from me. It might be possessed by a demon or something. You're a demon. Oh, my God. Matthew's adorable. Um... But it, exactly, but isn't he a demon himself? That's not what I wanted to make. I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. You done? You done screwed up, man. Let me, let me, let me save. Let me save just in case. I am pretty sure I will be needing this. Aw, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's certainly unique. No way am I keeping it. No. No way am I keeping that little... No. No, 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 no. That thing is creepy AF. What if he... What if... Oh, God, no. I am not... If, if I'm gonna do the Matthew route, I am not gonna have fun, aren't I? Uh, uh, oh, you can have it. What? I appreciate the thought, but uh, no thanks. I mean, you made it. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yep. Oh, here. <gasps> Okay, uh, oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, I, I'm trying to see, like, if I can, let me try, let me try, please, yes, okay, oh, thank god, I can, oh, I can pick something else, let me try this, <clears throat> I just knew that about that now, jump up and protect yourself, I instantly jumped and grabbed a pillow, covering myself with it, I felt stupid, yes, but who knew what this guy could do, do your worst, this time, I'm prepared, <laughs> oh, sorry, he didn't move. I guess that he wasn't going at to attack me. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Sorry. One thing still concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Uh, huh? How? I can read minds. Oh, yeah. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. I don't know why, but I like hearing his voice. I think I'm gonna go for Damien first. Eh. Great, even more so far they gave me worried about the situation I was in. I see! How long- Oh, okay, so, same thing. Hmm, I'm gonna- I, I'd rather pick the one a while ago. Uh, this one. Yep. And then... Be calm. Then I'm gonna skip through everything. Yeah, that thing was creepy. Look. Look at it. Oh, man. <sighs> You know what? How about I get points with all the dudes? There. I think I'll keep it. But it looks so creepy. I don't want to hurt your feelings, man. So that's why I'm doing it. So shut up. It's the thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up, after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looked pretty weird at first, but it could be cute if I looked at it from a certain angle. I gave him a small smile. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. It's good to see you smiling, even though the thing I made still kind of creeps me out. It certainly creeps me out, too. Anyway, you should come with me to the dining room. We're almost finished with the food, and, well, I don't mean to brag, but 
but we're pretty decent chefs. Men that cook? You guys really are incubi. <laughs> Sounds great. Lead the way. Mmm, something smells good. And I ain't talking about food. I'm talking about them boys. <laughs> Whoa, you are hungry. My stomach rumbled in agreement. I was starving. Oh, the girl's awake. Why, hello, dickwad. Excuse you, I have a name, you know. Should we really care? Yeah, cause you broke it to my house, bruh. Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Is it just me or does he sound like my father? <laughs> no, I just... Okay, I will play this one more time. Listen closely. Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Please don't tell me that's... Tell me that doesn't sound like my father. Please tell me that doesn't sound like Mr. Anderson. Please, God, am I gonna bang the father? Oh my God, this is weird. <laughs> oh God, James, okay. Shh, whatever. Eh. I apologize for his attitude. It's fine. Eh, he's still a kid, you know. <sighs> Gotta go through them phase, like, not uh, like us adults, you know. Hey, James. Oh, that's fine. You know, I went through the same phase. <laughs> Good. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Dear God, I love his voice. Meal? For a second, my mind didn't understand what James James meant. Maybe that was the doll getting to my head and distracting me. Oh, that's right. Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. Oh, wait, shoot, I forgot. Oh, that's right. Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. Oh, wait, you didn't have to. <sighs> but thanks anyway. We insist. Besides, it's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. Oh. All right, well, uh, thank you. <laughs> now I chug in. Matthew put down the last of the plates on the table, and we bowed a bit exaggeratedly to me. Wait, what? Matthew put down the last of the plates on the table and bowed a bit exaggeratedly to me. Okay. Gesturing to the table with a sweeping motion. Ah. Uh, there we go. Dinner's all served. Aw, you cutie. The table was filled with various foods from an elect eclectic selection of cuisines. One portion of the table was filled with elegantly plated Asian foods. Please let there be adobo. <laughs> and another portion, some yummy looking desserts. And there were yet more and more plates that I could have possibly imagined. Whoa, that's a lot of food. And it all looks so good. Are you guys gonna stuff me uh, and eat me later? And I'm gonna ask, why aren't you, why, why aren't you guys eating? And oh no, the main course is coming after you're done eating. And I'm like, oh no. And then the end. <laughs> that's, that's the whole game. That's, that's why. <laughs> We hope you enjoy it, my sweet. Oh, God, not you again. Ew, 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 no, get away, ew. <laughs> what? Sweet? Me? That's enough, Eric. Yeah, please, don't use your powers. <laughs> You're no fun, James. I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss, please follow me. Sure. Aw, he's a tin man. I like the tin means. Oh, wait, oh, God. Oh. Whoops, accidentally pressed my spacebar. I thought that, uh, like, there would be a way that I could remove the chat box. If you guys know how to, like, you know, remove the chat box and seduce me and see, like, the full picture, that would be cute. Because, you know, thumbnail. <laughs> I didn't know what came over me. Where, uh, whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his offered arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent. But aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brothers. Not to mention he didn't really seem to hold much appreciation for them. Miss, I have to ask. Why do you live alone? Why do you ask too many questions? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's kind of a long story, you know. Um, let's see, my father slapped me, and well, my grandfather died, and yeah. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. I basically just said the whole plot. Okay, this is where I save again. Uh, um, um, um. Yep. Save. 
They're right here. Yep. Okay. Uh, sure. To put it briefly, I just moved here today. That explains the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors. By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Thanks. This house is really big. I don't think I've even explored the entirety of the estate when I was a child. You lived here before? Mm, no. Just be told this is my grandfather's house. I used to visit him all the time when I was younger. May I ask why you now live in your grandfather's house? Uh, he actually passed away yesterday. It was bequeathed to me in his wheel. Wheel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, and I was sent to live here, whether I liked it or not. My condolences. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. Well, now that you pretty boys are here, I think I might take in the consideration. It's all... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not that I don't like this house, or that I don't have fond memories of being here. It's just the implications that come with stay staying at this estate. It's kind of complicated to explain. How do you feel about it? Mm. I certainly wasn't expect. Oh, I certainly wasn't expecting that question, but in a good way. It was a different. Uh, it was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciated the fact that he was willing to listen. I feel angry, sad, scared, and confused. It's hard picking out the different emotions that I'm feeling right now. I wish I was stronger. You don't have to be strong. What do you mean? I understand that you're going through a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. You don't have to be strong at all. Thank you. I love his voice, dear God. I like his and Damien's voice so far. Uh, are you alright? There seems to be a small bruise on your cheek. <gasps> Finally! Oh my God! Oh! Oh, you guys. Ugh! <laughs> Now that I noticed, <laughs> he's the one wearing glasses. Is everyone without glasses blind? The one with the glasses is the one that saw the bruise on my cheek. <laughs> All I had to do was give glasses to my mother. <laughs> and then she could have seen, oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> I am so happy <laughs> that they've, someone actually found it. Oh my god, I am so happy. Dear god. Okay. <clears throat> he caught me off guard with that comment. Oh, yeah, he did. I thought no one would have noticed something as small as that. Uh, oh, I'm fine. He stopped and leaned in close, but a bit too close for comfort. Or maybe it was just me inspecting my face. He was really quite tall. Tall? I love tall. <laughs> he was really quite tall, having to bend over so much to just look at me straight in the face. It was hard to look at him, especially when he was so close. After a few seconds, he straightened up and began walking again. Hmm. Well, if you're having any problems, I'm always here to listen. That's really kind of you to offer that. But I need a therapist! Have you seen the things that they've done to me? My pleasure. Here's your seat. How long did it take for us to, like, just go over to a certain chair? We were right in the dining room. <laughs> Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Oh, this is so weird. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who you know. 